Okay, here we are. We are doing art. Let me get this light off. I don't think it ever really helps. Okay, there we go. Today we are drawing a hammerhead shark. I lost my Sharpie. Oh, I found it. We're good. No problem. Sorry, I'm just trying to get nice and situated for everyone. Get this uh, tutorial ready. And... Okay, now we're going to just start it right out with right about here, a highlight right here, and then I'm going to color this in. And again, this is going to be more of the one eyeball, but this is going to be the first one that we draw. And there we go. Now, bear with me. Again, I am following the tutorial, so just taking a second here to figure out what they're doing. So we're going to take this, and we're going to do kind of like an outline around the eyeball. But then once you get right there, we're going to kind of come out and try to keep it slightly, I mean ever so slightly rounded to about right here. And then we're going to go ahead and round it like that. And we're done. No, I'm totally kidding. Well, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to add, we're going to come just barely, 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 and we're just going to curve it in like that, and then we're going to bring this in, and we're going to curve a line right here, about that far, okay? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a fin, so go ahead and kind of fin it like that, and then create a point and then thin it back. And that's a fat fin. I wanted to do it a little bit skinnier, but you can do it however you want, and I'm okay with the mistake. It's not really a mistake. It's just how my shark looks. Then we're going to go ahead and add the fin back here as well. So do like a little point, and then just like that. Now we're going to kind of finish that belly and move into part of the tail. So we're going to try to line it up right here, but on the edge because that fin is covering up and you're going to curve up about that far. Now we're going to bring this line in just a little bit right there. And then we are going to draw the upper part of the body. So kind of like that right there. Then we're going to add that common shark fin, bum, bum, bum. And then go ahead and kind of, you can either curve it or bring it straight down. I'm going to bring mine straight down like this. And then from there, you're going to bring it in close. So they're pretty close together like that. Now we're going to work on that back fin. So you're going to create a curved line that's kind of facing outward like that. And I wish I would have curved it a little bit more up, but that's fine. And I'm going to do another one like this. And then we're going to kind of give it a point and a little curved point and then you're just going to kind of make a spot where these touch right there and then on the back we're going to give it just a little baby fin you know just some more details here and let's see what else are we going to do on this tutorial looks like we're going to give it two little baby fins right here on the bottom as well so just like that and they actually do another one back here. I don't know if hammerhead sharks have all these fins like this, but it's okay. Now, to kind of differentiate between, like, the belly of the shark and the other side, what we're going to do is we're going to create, like, a little curve right here. And you'll see what the, this makes more sense once it's colored in. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. And we're going to come down. I'm going to come down right to where those two baby fins meet right there. Okay. Now we've got to give our shark. A so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it kind of like a, a big, almost like frowny type face here. And then I'm going to go like this. Okay. Now, of course, shark have those big old mean teeth. So let's go ahead and give them some mean looking teeth. Unless you want yours to have like a smiley face. I don't care. You know, you do you. 
do whatever makes you happy. Now, our shark can't breathe on the water right now, so let's go ahead and give it some gills. I'm just going to go ahead and put three little curves just like that. And you know what? I know this, like the eye is supposed to be on the other side, but I feel weird without anything right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just color that in. Eh, I don't know if that was the right move or not, but it's okay. It looks like there's kind of an eyeball over there. Um, you don't have to do that. I was just kind of testing it out to see if it would help. Um, but it made it look a little goofy. So now I just need my color pencils. Oh, those are markers. Where are my color pencils at? Here we go. Get them out. And there's my gray. Now, I'm going to do this part of my shark like a normal gray because that's, you know, that's what sharks are. They're the gray color. However, I'm going to get a little creative with this. So just you wait and see. It's going to be a gray top, and it's going to be a little bit different on the bottom, and that's totally fine. Shark reminds me of one of the ones from Finding Nemo, where they have their little, like, shark, or the, yeah, their shark meeting. is like, fish are friends, not food. Except my shark looks kind of mean, so I don't think he's very friendly with fish. And again, I know this isn't the most exciting thing to color. Like drawing the shark was cool, but if you're going stereo like your stereotypical shark, sharks are gray. You know it's kind of cool. If you take this off, it still kind of looks like a shark. I guess it's still got a shark body, even without the hammerhead. So far, so good. There we go. Let's color these fins a little bit like a darker gray. Let's color them, color them in hard with. And let's go back and I'm gonna color this fin a little bit darker. Why? Because I can. And let's give it like a highlight like that. Okay. Let's have some fun with our shark. I know it's a hammerhead, but let's. I don't know. Let's. Let's change the way it looks a little bit. Let's take the black and let's do some like cool, cool kind of like tiger stripes on it. Or like shark, like little shark fins, you know? Okay, and then we're gonna color those in. I want those to be black. Don't worry, I promise there's going to be more color in here. Just because I'm using a lot of black and gray right now doesn't mean it's not going to have color. Okay, now that it kind of looks like shark tiger stripes, let's go ahead and let's get crazy with. Let's go do do the orange. Let's give it an orange belly. Why may you ask? Because I want my tiger to have an orange belly. I actually kind of like the way the orange looks. I like it so much, I'm actually going to color its head orange, even though I wasn't going to originally. That wasn't part of the plan. I'm going to do it. There's no going back now. It already happened. It almost looks like there's a shark eating something else now. It's like, almost looks like two totally different animals. It's kind of cool. And I didn't really color in those, uh, those teeth. But let's make his teeth, let's make him a nasty yellow. Grr. Okay. And there you have it. Short, simple, and that's it. That's our, that's our shark. So...
see you tomorrow. Have a great day and enjoy your lunch. See you later.